United States is the most wealthy and powerful country on earth. Yet we die younger than people in less rich, less powerful countries, and we don't have equal opportunities for success and health. For example, over the past 20 years, black infants in Ingham County died at a rate that was two to four times greater than the death rate for white babies. Many of our approaches put residents in the driver's seat in improving their own health outcomes. The Get Real About Breastfeeding campaign um, has been a wonderful success. We joined efforts with local breastfeeding advocates through the Capital Area Breastfeeding Coalition and also reached out to local area moms to see what messages would make sense to them. One of the things that we do now that we have found to be successful and that's offering educational workshops in the community, the way we establish those topics is based on our clients. We address those issues based on what we hear from the raw voice in the community. Infant death rates tend to be highest among infants born to mothers who are teenagers, unmarried, or smokers, as well as those who have low educational levels, four or more previous births, or inadequate prenatal care. And yet regardless of their mother's income or educational levels, black infants consistently fare worse than white infants in Ingham County and nationally. That my mother experienced a loss of a child, which was prior to my birth. I never knew about it and she just shared it recently and it was so difficult for her. Didn't have the proper access to care and she really was at a loss as to what to do. And I have an opportunity now to offer myself to the community where I live to provide those type of supports that maybe my mother was not able to receive. Our health equity workshops engage healthcare providers and community members in understanding structural racism and the four forms of oppression that affect health. Unemployment is probably one of the biggest things that the families face right now. And it may not be that mother who doesn't have a, a job at the moment, but maybe the father, the child, that spouse doesn't have employment. So what kind of services can we recommend to them to try to ensure that they have the skills to be gainfully employed? So we really work with our partners in the community to assist those families. Unfortunately, the playing field is far from level for different groups in the United States when it comes to moving up the economic ladder and securing healthy living and working conditions. Countries with high economic mobility offer wages that are sufficient for workers, even at the lowest wage levels, to purchase nutritious food and affordable quality housing. We still have pervasive inequities in housing and education, employment and income, and the criminal justice system. And nothing is more precious than being involved with our children, watching them grow, watching them take their first steps, watching them swing that first bat, win the winning touchdown, all of those different things, the progress that they make in life. So the fact that I get to provide the services for the services that I wish that I had uh, when I was a, a new father is why I'm so passionate about this work. All Dads Matter Coalition came into existence, um, started out with an idea, and we looked at all the different fatherhood programs that are already existing in Ingham County. Some of those being new young fathers, stepping up together, and finding out what we can do as a collective group to serve our population, serve our community in a bigger capacity. In order to narrow gaps in health, we must intentionally make resident involvement part of our philosophy and practices. When we think about the role of policy and legislation in reducing infant mortality rates, there are many different things we could focus on. One thing that we know is hurting families and hurting babies right now, both nationally and locally, is the high percentage of parents who are behind bars serving long prison sentences, sometimes for minor offenses. More African American adults are under correctional control today than were enslaved in 1850, prior to the emancipation of slavery in the United States. Our department is part of the Michigan Power to Thrive, a coalition of health department leaders and community organizers tackling inequities in early childhood and criminal justice systems. Health equity is not something that one person or one agency can accomplish. Only together can we become a place where everyone has a fair shot at a long and healthy life.